Yo guys, what's going on? It's Mozzie AC7 here and welcome back to episode 2 of season 2 of the Crystal Palace Great Mode. We are smashing it so far. We've played 2, we've won 2. Next game is up against Manchester City and we're going to start this episode with a transfer offer for Joachim Anderson from United. And you know what I think about that? Get out! Manchester United, just dummy Luke Bennett. I'm sure he'll love it. But he's staying. Anderson's going nowhere, boys. And this this game that we've got next, right, against Manchester City, we have to win this. If we want to win the Prem this season, we have to beat this toy, this team. We've got not a position change. Position? Position change. God, I can't speak. Why do I always have a problem speaking on the intro? Oh, well. Uh, position change for Notto. Doesn't go up at all, but he is a cam now, which always makes it a lot better. Um, when do the um, UCL draw come out? Because I want to know what my theme is. I want to know what my draw is. And I'm not too sure it's come out yet. The Champions League. It's still the playoffs. Okay, so it should be some point of this episode we will find out our Champions League draw, which is absolutely fantastic. But everyone's sharpness is terrible, apart from Buono, which is what we like to see. Notto looking good as a cam, I can't lie. The team firing on all cylinders. We're going to go take on Manchester City, see if we can get a win. Paul Turney is the ref, so already a problem. I don't like it. Let's bloody go! Very early top of the table clash against Manchester City. Um... We know what sort of threat that they offer because they've done it to us last season. They smashed us. But our team is better now. Our team is a lot better in midfield. We've got Toram. We've got a high-rated striker in the other Toram. We've got a good defender now in um, Buono as well. So hopefully we can try and pose a challenge to Manchester City. We are away from home and we know what it's like going to the Etihad. Bernardo Silva's just flying past everyone though. I'll tell you what, they're starting straight away. Nice and quickly. Oh, McAtee's had... Gehi on toast, but it's a good save from Henderson. Thank you, Henderson. Um, he saves us there, to be fair. Gehi, you need to work on your defending, bro, because that was absolutely shocking from you. I can't lie. Over to Elise. I think we're going to have four games this episode, boys, so you're in for a treat. That's a good switch from Toram. He hasn't put a foot wrong since he's put on that Palace shirt, you know. Over Toram, to Lang, to Eze. Inside, please, Eze. It's a good save from Henderson. I messed around with it a bit too much, but... A good little counter from us, which we needed. Marcus Turam, can he get his head on that? He can. It's a great save from Edison to keep Manchester City level. And I'm trying to move my mic, but it can stay there. Why not? Mitchell to Ducore. What have you got, Duke? Gives it to Kepan. Kepan through to Elise. Come on, then. Now through to Marcus. He's going to whip one with his left. Ooh, that's me, Gary Neville impression. That is dirty. Come on, Kepan. That's not Kepan. That's Marcus. That's Kepan. No one running up to him. His brother. I still don't know if they're brothers. Why did I go Welsh? No idea. Is Marcus left-footed? Because I told him to hit that with his right. No, he is. He is right-footed. Why is he hitting that with his left? I have no idea, but what a finish that was. Kepan to Elise. To Marcus. And then he just smashes it with his left. Top binners. City started well, but we we've overtaken them and doing better. Come on, you boys. Now Mitchell's going to try and whip it into the area. It's a terrible whip, but Toram, good flick on. Can he get it again? He's so vital in the air. I absolutely love it. He might get a goal, you know. It is going to be a penalty. Ruben Diaz. Ruben? Ruben Diaz. Think with a handball. I'm not too sure. No, it's not handball again. This is where this rule's stupid. It wasn't a handball, but that's okay. We'll take it nevertheless. We'll have Eze... Firing into the bottom corner. No, he won't because that's a terrible penalty. Oh, my God. He's missed two so far and scored one. Maybe it's time to put somebody else on penalties. Ducore is going to hit one from range straight at De Bruyne's leg. So, that was a terrible penalty. I don't know why I tried to go low. I should have just smashed it into the top bins. Hopefully, we can go into half time 1-0 up. But they are posing some threats now, uh, our man City. And we, know, we always knew that was going to happen at some point in the game. But Elise... To Eze. If we could go 2 0 up just before half time, that would be absolutely insane. Eze to Kepan Toram. He's going to hit one. Oh my God. What an absolute rocket. This guy is signing of the season already. I'm telling you now. Signing of the season. That was an absolute thunderbolt. Jesus Christ. Look at this. Bang. Oh my Lord. Jeez. That was insane. How has he just done that then? How has he just done that? 
I said it'd be insane to go 2 0 up just before half time, and then Kepan Torum just goes, No problem, boss. No problemo. Bang. What a finish. What a finish. First half, boys, at the Etihad. Toram and Toram scoring. Both of them. Two different Torams. It, I mean, it'd be quite interesting if, like, those. I had three Torams and um, all of them scored. And then, like, someone, like, looking at the scoreboard would be like, oh, Toram got a hat trick. But really, no. They all just scored one. That's cool. I'm, I don't know what I'm on about. Elise. Ete. I'll tell you what, it was almost free. It was almost free. City do not know what's hit them. They can't deal with the press. Gehi, get your head on that. Don't let Haaland win it. You have let him win it, though. And here is Toram now. Gives it to Munoz. Beautiful. Already, I'm thinking Toram player of the year. Oh, boys, I forgot to mention as well. I, I do have the clip. Uh, Eze got player of the year. Player of the year for last season. I just didn't put it in the video because I'm an idiot. Um, but yeah, absolutely insane. Can't, can't argue with it because he, he deserved to get it. He absolutely did deserve to get it. He had an insane season, scoring lots of goals, 60 goal contributions over the space of a season, which is absolutely insane. I feel like someone's going to get more than that this season, though, because we are in more competitions. Mitchell, get rid of that. Only as far as Jackie Grealish, though. Is he going to try and hit it? Oh, bueno. Well done, son. No. Kepan. That wasn't Kepan. That was Marcus. Sorry, I'm not used to Marcus being that far back. That's why. Lise, slip through Eze. Go on, then. Go on, then, Eze. Get a goal, son. You didn't get your penalty, but you can have that. 3-0 against Manchester City. We struggled more against Leeds and Leicester. Bloody hell, we are absolutely insane, boys. Oh, we love the Eagles. Na, 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 na. We love the Eagles. Na, 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 na. Don't know what that song was. We're going to make some changes. We'll get Notto straight on there. We'll keep Eze on, but we'll bring on Milo. And we're going to bring on Gendre as well. Um, I'm liking Gendre coming up. Whoa, my guy's going grey. I'm getting old, boys. I'm getting old. Um, boys, this team's absolutely insane. I don't, I don't know what, how we're doing this good. Well, I do know how we're doing this good. I think the team is absolutely incredible. But obviously the ratings, we shouldn't be doing this good. Milo, just slip that under. It's too easy, boys. It's way too easy. An absolute smashing at the Etihad. When have you ever seen this before? When has anybody ever seen this happen? I'm sure they're going to be angry when they come to Sellers Park. And I don't, I don't want that, to be honest. As a... Ooh, could keep a clean sheet, you know. We could. Probably not, though, because now I've just mentioned it. Bowden up against Anderson. Dives past him. Easy. Bernardo. Oh, here is Haaland. Gehi. Fantastic. Oh, and then he gives it him straight back. Gehi, man. He did so good to make the block and then gave him the ball straight back. What an idiot. Gendre. Toram. Go on then. Milo. Waiting for that run. Gendre. He followed his run the whole time. This could be 5-1 against Man City. It's not 5-1. It should have been no Gendre. That's poor from you. I wanted the clean sheet there. I'm very disappointed in uh, Gehi. But I, I wasn't to start with because he did very well making the tackle. But then, ooh, we're messing around with it now. Gendre, can you find anyone? Ugh. Tries to find Kepan, but it wasn't a good ball to him. Gehi, fantastic from you. Find Marcus then. What a ball that is, Gehi. What a ball that is. And Kepan, oh, it's not Kepan, it's Marcus, but it's a good save. It's Kepan out by Edison. <laughs> Lerma, Ed on that, son. Fantastic. Eze. Ref. Well, I've been fouled. Not going to lie to you there. Been absolutely fouled. Man of the match again, boys. Probably Kepan. Not going to lie. Feel like he's been incredible once again. This guy just does not put a foot wrong in a Crystal Palace top. Ever since he's put that top on, he's been incredible, lad. Been incredible. Grealish up against Anderson. Insane. Get rid of it, Milo. Thank you very much. 4-1 Man City. AR Pep. AR. AR Baldy. Cheers, mate. 4-1. Come on. Right then, boys. Just after that fantastic a game, it is transfer deadline day. Our starting 11 is insane. Our bench is insane. Maybe we could get rid of Sam Johnson, but I don't feel like there's much need. But I feel like we could get a young goalkeeper in. That So I might do that, try and get rid of Johnson on deadline day and bring in a young goalkeeper just to um, just you know to grow uh, alongside Dean Henderson because he's getting to 27 actually now. We're going to loan these boys out as well. And 
I'm going to send a Youth Academy player out as well. And we're going to see. Also, I haven't checked my objective. So, I need to do that. We're going to send this guy to England. Because we want some English talent. Let's go have a look at our objective. Sorry, it's all going on. It's all going on, boys. Objectives. Here we go. We've got to find one youth player. Okay, that's fine. Five games without defeat in away matches. Easy. Um, sign one crucial first team player to assign to the defender position. I've done that. I've signed Buono. Uh, reach the quarter final in the Champions League. Okay. Finish in a Europa League spot. Win the FA Cup. 25 mil profit. Okay, right. So we'll sell Johnston, boys. And um, we'll get a new keeper in and we'll see. Boys, I think we may have found our new backup goalkeeper, James Trafford. I tried to offer Dean, not Dean Henson, Sam Johnston. They had none of it. And then they came back saying that they wanted Chris Richards and like 700k. So I went in for 7 mil. They were absolutely fine with that. We're going to give him rotation. Hopefully he's happy with that. He is happy with that. Not sure what rating he's going to be. But he is going to play all the cup games and maybe some of the UCL games if they're not uh, too difficult. So we've got him in, boys. New goalkeeper on deadline day. I'm hoping he's at least 76 or higher. Would be good. I think he starts at a 74. So and he's still 74. So that is not very good, is it? Let's be honest. I thought, how is he? How is he still 74? At least he can grow. At least he can grow. Um, behind Dean Henson, and you never know. One day he might he might come in good. We could keep Johnston in, to be fair, and uh, just loan Trafford out. I'm not too sure. Um, we need we desperately need to sell some players because we've got 50 people in. So I'm going to go list a load of players, and then we'll get through deadline day, boys. See you later. Well, we've got an offer for Mateta. He's not going to go anywhere because he is going to be our backup striker. Feel like I should just go through all of this with you, but. I want to get four games in this episode, so I'll come back if anything interesting happens and something might hear. Raksaki loan offer. I have just put him up for loan, but you know what? I've decided against it because he's going to play in the cup games, isn't he? First player out on transfer deadline day is Adamola Ola Adabomi. What a sick name that is, by the way. I want to name my son that. That is a quality name. Um, could get some more players out, though, boys. Look at all these going out. I'm going to go through a a run through at the end of transfer deadline day to show you all of my ingoings and outgoings and the rest of the Premier League as well. Boys, we got an offer for Johnston. It is a swap deal. I don't want a swap deal. Mark Travers, to be fair, I don't want that. I'm gonna have to negotiate this because um <laughs> gonna have to change change this, aren't we? I would like 7.5, but I'm just gonna go in safe with seven because I do want to get rid of him. I'm not sure if they're gonna be happy with that Bournemouth, but yeah, they're happy with that. Hopefully, he can go out. There's three hours left. So, we'll have to wait and see. Another player out. David Ozo is out to FC20. Not for 20 months, so for 12 months, which is fair enough. Um, a Marder loan offer. You know what? He can go out on loan because I don't feel like he's going to get much game time. Uh, neither do I think with Whitworth, but they'll probably have to wait until January because there's no way they're going to go out with two hours left. And I can see there on the right-hand side of the screen, Sam Johnston is out of the club. Finally, well not finally because I only listed him on transfer deadline day, but he's out for 7 mil. We got a uh, decent backup in James Trafford, so that's very good to see. And we've got a bit more money in for January as well now, so we'll list all these players. We'll not list all these, we'll accept all of these because I don't want any of them in my club. And then that's it, that's transfer deadline day over boys. I'm going to show you all of the transfers. Right then boys, we'll go from start to finish for my club. So we started with Jeffrey Schlupp out. Randall went out. Franca went out. Hughes went out. Wharton went out. Edward went out. And then we, start, we brought in our sign of the season so far, Kevin Toram. Then we brought in Marcus Toram for 40 million. He's been good. Notto has been good as well. Bargy went out on loan. Ebba Y went out on loan. Uh, Rob Holden went for 5.5. Bueno came in as well for 30 mil. Phillips went out. Wells went out, Trafford came in, Ola Odebomi went out for 1.8, Ozzo went out, and Johnson went out. Um, so we're doing quite well, boys, I'm not going to lie. We brought some good signings in. I don't know why James Trafford isn't on. Oh, he is, he's there. So we signed four players, same as we did last time. So we're doing pretty good, boys. All right, boys, we've had a match rescheduled, so I don't know if that means we've got our Champions League draw. We have. Who are we going to get, boys? This could be 
this could be insane. This could be insane. Our first ever Champions League draw. We get PSG, Porto, and Dynamo Zagreb. That's a good draw, that. PSG, hard, but the rest of it is absolutely fantastic. So let's have a quick look at that. We have got, let's go through them all. Barca, Napoli, Sporting, and easy for those two. Munich, Madrid, Monaco, and Lech Poznan. That could be a hard group. City, Sociedad, Marseille, Ajax. Not, not the easiest group, but not really difficult. Ours, we just went through. Madrid, Leipzig, Roma, Salzburg. That's a horrible group. Uh, Leverkusen, United, Fenerbahce, Celtic. Easy. Inter, Dortmund, Juve, Liverpool. Right, them boys. So that is our group. I don't know when our first game is. It is against Dano Zagreb. It is the 24th of September. I don't know if that's going to be in today's episode. One, two. It is going to be the final, final game of the episode. So that's absolutely lovely, boys. Can't argue with that, can we? We just can't argue with it. And then, boys, the only difference that we've got... Oh, God, it's your nose. The only difference we've got to this team now is James Trafford is in instead of Sam Johnson. He was just getting a bit too old, but he was getting... Every time he was turning up to training, he had his Zimmer frame out. And I was just like, you know what, mate? I don't want you in anymore, so get out of my team, yeah. And I'll get a little youngster in, and he'll do absolute bits, lad. Anyway, um, don't know what I'm on about. This is the team that is in. Let's go get a result against Aston Villa. Let's go. Come on, you Eagles. Selhurst Park. It's a fortress. Aston Villa ain't got nothing on us, boy. Ain't got nothing. Nothing. Nothing, I tell you. Nothing. What a way to start the game. Why am I so strange? Come on, Kefan. Elise. Alex Moreno. What's he got? He's dancing. Absolutely dancing. That's what he is. Jacob Ramsey. Oh, let's not start like this. Bueno. That's why we signed him, boys. That's why you pay money for a good centre-back. It's not like it's big money, though, to be fair, actually. Kefan Toram gives it to Ducore, and he gives it away. Because he's an idiot. Uh, Ducore was my favourite player, but then Kefan's come in, and he's become my favourite but they just slice through the defence. Might not be a fortress this season then, boys. Might not be a... Come on, we can't beat City 4-1 and then struggle against Aston Villa. Come on. We just we just started a bit slow, boys. What's going on? What's going on? Redemption at its finest. Here is Marcus Toram. Waiting for Elise. There he is. Eze, where are you? Nowhere to be seen, boy. We're not playing well. Get some passing going, boys. Keep the ball. Keep the ball. Toram. Elise, here we go now. Through to Eze, bang it Eze, straight at the player. That's not handball, ref. It's not handball. This is your last chance, Eze, to take a penalty. If Eze misses his penalty, he's off them. It's not handball. It's not handball whatsoever. Come on, Eze, can't miss. Finally, converts one. Finally, he's had two, he's had four penalties this season. He's converted two and he's scored two. So 50% so far. If he missed that, it would have been absolutely tragic. So we can stay on them for now. As soon as he misses another one, he's off them for good. Sometimes you just got to take it and it's your only way back into the game. And that's poor from Bueno. Gerald Moreno to Watkins. Get he now. Oh my God, Munoz is having a good game to be fair. He may not always be in position, but when he gets back, he makes that last tackle so well. And Elise is going on one. Going on one. Look through Marcus, maybe. On his left, so it's not where I wanted him. Mitchell, I'll have it. Anyone in the box? Elise is. Get there, please, Ducore. That was handball. That was more handball than the actual penalty, mate. Lang. Come on, then. Fire it across. Oh, why did that not go to Eze? If that went through to... Oh, Munoz, what a tackle. If that went through to Eze, though, that was a goal. Oh, well. 1-1. One, one. 1-1 one, one at our time, boys. That I lifted up too. Don't know why. But, come on. We're back in this. Yes, Toram. Straight to Eze. Let's get it underway, boys. Come on. Mitch. Ducore. What have you got, son? Slide it over there to Kepan. Lovely. Munoz. Elise. Where's the boys at? Elise. Great ball. Oh. Referee. No, don't be injured. Oh, it's a foul. It is a foul. Okay, I didn't think he was going to give that, to be fair. We'll just fire that through there to Elise. He'll turn and he'll bang it top bins. Okay, maybe he won't. Toram, Ducore. Here we are, Lang. Unfortunate. We're at home. I do not want to lose a game at home. I don't want to draw a game at home, if I'm being completely honest with you. 
Well, no, fantastic from you, mate. He's actually been a really good signing, to be fair. I can't argue with it. I don't know what you boys think. Obviously, I see more of the players than you do because I try and cut it down to get it all into one episode for you. But so far, I feel like he's been very good. Hasn't made too many mistakes apart from on his debut, which is understandable. Where's the penalty there, ref? Or is he offside? Oh, thank goodness for that. I thought they were saying penalty. I was like, um, where? Where's the bloody penalty there, lad? I hate myself. I hate it. Mitchell, through to Lang. Marcus, go. Oh. <coughs> oh. Alaba playing on the right is really annoying me because he's left footed. He should be on the left hand side. But, you know, Leon Bailey up against Mitchell. He's done him. Done him for a bit of pace. But Mitchell, he's coming back at him. He won't let him do him twice, surely. He has let him do him twice. But Kepan, it's not Kepan, it's Ducore. Moreno, oh, Bueno, again, great tackle. He's probably having the best game so far for us, keeping us in this game. Um, our attacking threat has been poor today, I'm not going to lie. Mitchell gives it to Gehi. Gehi, you're going to have to have a run, mate. You're up against Diaby, though, so maybe not. Switch it. Munoz will have. Elise, go. 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 Oh, that was over in the air. It might have got to him. I don't know why I didn't put it in the air. That was quite silly of me, to be fair. As they slip him through now. Marcus Toram. Oh, it was a poor first touch. I'm not going to lie. Terrible first touch. I don't really want a draw. That means we're going to be level with Newcastle then. But I don't, I'd rather it not be a loss. And here come Aston Villa with 10 minutes to go with the Abbey down the wing to Buono, to Watkins. And it's in the back of the net, boys. We're going to ruin our home record. It was poor defending once again from the Crystal Palace boys. Shocking. Absolutely shocking. Good evening to everyone. I mean, I got done there. A little bit of trickery from Diaby. And Gendre, who's just come on, got absolutely sent to the shops. And we might have a go here. We do Corey through to Eze. No. Oh, maybe we can. Oh, Eze. Eze. He won it back, but I didn't think he was going to win it back. So I didn't know what to do from there. And Toram, that's fantastic from you. Gives it to the other Toram the house again. With a fantastic tackle. Notto. Toram. Toran, go to Gendry. Gendry, you got some making up to do, mate. Did he just handball that? No. Thank God. Milo. Eze, please. Oh, my God. It's a great block from John McGinn. John McGinn. Eze, please. Find someone's head. It's gone to Marcus Toram. No one else. Notto. Milo. Buono. Gehi. Come on. I don't know what I'm doing with it. Eze. Run through. Put it back sticks. Anyone there? What the hell is that pass? Gendry. Notto. Eze. Come on. Last minute. We're keeping the home record intact. We're keeping it intact. I don't know what that pass was across the box from Eze. I wanted it to Toram. Ended up going to Gendry. That is what the boys do. We know how. What our home ground can, can do to us. We're not losing there all season. I, I, if I'm honest. I wanted to win there all season. But. We ended up getting a goal. It's an assist for Notto, but it's an incredible finish from Eberetche Eze. None other than that guy all the time. May or may not have been a penalty. I think it wasn't, but we do get a goal. I don't think there's going to be time to get a winner. Or is there? Or is there? Ducore. What's he got? Through to Eze. Through to... Oh, if you could just slip through Toram then, it would have been a goal. Oh, Eze. You've messed me up, boy. You've messed me up, but it's okay. We salvage a point against Aston Villa, and we got United next. All right, boys, so what I've decided is to finish the game, the episode against Manchester United today, and then we're going to have four games in the next episode. So we're going to travel to Croatia against Dynamo Zagreb, whatever their name is. Then we will have Luton. Then we'll have the first round of the Carabao Cup for us, and then we'll have Newcastle as well. And then we'll have two Champions League games in the episode after that. Um, yeah, I'm going to start having four in the uh, episode, slightly longer episodes for you, but we'll get through the season quicker. Uh, well, we might not actually because we've got more games to play, but if we get knocked out of anything, then we'll have less games to play. So yeah, final game of the episode. Let's go take down Manchester United, travel to Old Trafford. Bruno, it's already an 82. I love that. Let's have it. Oh, they've still got Ednesri and we know, boys, he always scores against us. Always scores against us, so... We got to try and make sure he don't today because he always does. And it's rather, rather annoying and beautiful from you, Gehi. Ooh, great tackle straight away to start us off. Elise, what have you got, son? 
Marcus is going. Marcus is going. Okay, he stopped going. Why? Why do they do that? They make a such good run and then just go, Nah, I'm alright. I don't want to run anymore. Oh, Greenwood's getting snapped. Mitchell hurt him. That's not good enough. Gehi, from you though, that is beautiful. Eze, go on then. Marcus has gone. Only against Martinez. Easy. Ah, uh, maybe not. Maybe not easy. Casemiro. Ducore. Marcus. Through to Eze. Eze, dink it over to Elise. It's a good block from Evans. It needed to be a block as well because Elise was through on goal on his own. Marcus, can you jump for that? He can't. But Munoz. Ah, oh, he's not going to get there either. Hurt Greenwood. I don't care. You get a pay rise if you hurt him. Beautiful Mitchell. Beautiful. You get a pay rise. If you injure Mason Greenwood, you get a pay rise. It's as simple as that. Diego Lopez. I'm diving in. Bueno. No, that's a great tackle, ref. Right, this is going to be a goal. I'm not watching him celebrate. Absolutely not. I've been saying that I want to break his legs all game and he goes and does that. Break his legs and then he can't use them, can he? Idiots. Good free kick, though. It is a good free kick. But Ultimate always score free kicks when probably wasn't ever a free kick either, which is the most annoying thing about it. And I'm going to cry like my thing says. And Mitchell's on a yellow now all game against Greenwood, which means that I can't snap him with Mitchell. Oh, my God. Henderson, what a save against his former club. Fantastic, mate. Absolutely fantastic. Nice, Gehi. No. How is that a foul again? He'll score. Oh, my God, man. Why? How does it deflect straight to their player every single time? They either score or deflect it to someone. This is a shocking performance, boys. Absolutely shocking. Dink it over to Kepan. Kepan, he'll win that all the time. He does win it, but it's not the best header, I'm not going to lie. He's in the box now, though. As a change, let me ch control the player. I want to control EA, man. But this game's really annoying me. I hate United. I hate the fact that Greenwood scored. Snap him. Good lad, Gehi. Good lad. Great tackle. Don't know how he's been booked for that. Watch, they'll score from this as well. That free kick is so OP, man. They always score or get close from it. Every single time. We need a massive second half, boys. Absolute massive second half. Munoz. Alise. Come on, then. One more. What was that touch? Oh, referee. Is he having a lap? Is he having a lap? I pass the ball and then he goes, oh, he's through one goal, but I'll just go. Idioto. Right, we need a massive second half, boys. Massive second half. But you know what? I'll, I'll calm down a little bit and we'll just we'll take our time with the play. We'll take our time. I know what I'm doing. We've been poor in the midfield. Poor in defence. We've been wasteful in attack. And we're giving the ball away again. Munoz. Stop doing it or you you be gone, mate. I'm telling you now. The only way you survive being sacked is taking Mason Greenwood's legs and putting them on a stick for everyone outside Old Trafford to see, mate. All right? Thank you. Olise. Idioto. Sure. Offside, ref. Referee, offside. Oh, no. Thank you. Right, come on. Calm it down, Moss. Calm it down. Olise. Ducore. Oh, my God, Ducore. He's been poor since Kepan's come in, you know. Hurt him. Oh, neither of them can because you're both on bookings. Don't let him score again. Mitchell, what are you doing with it? And Henderson's just stood still. What? Mitchell's... Henderson's come out and stood still. Mitchell's made the tackle and then on the bounce back from his tackle, just pass it straight back to him. What is going on with his team? Milo? Boran, go on then. Go then, Munoz. Keep going. Good lad. Fire it in there. Eze, who's there? Willy, come on. Is there time? Is there time? 
16 minutes left. There probably isn't time because we're on four minute halves. If we're on 10 minute halves, there'd be loads of time, boys. If there was 10 minute halves, we'd be on loads of time. I don't know what they have the option for 20 minute halves as well, boys. Isn't that um, insane? 20 minute halves. Imagine what score that would be. There's no way someone out there plays on 20 minute halves. Surely not. Surely. Let me know what. Boys, let me know in the comments what minute half you all play on. I need to check because this referee is having an absolute stinker of a game. Good job I'm not playing the Champions League game after this because we would lose it because I'm absolutely triggered. And Nezri up against Bono. Thank you. Referee. That's a foul referee. Henderson bails him out. But how is that not a foul ref? You're an absolute... Oh. <clears throat> absolute fraud, man. Gendry's now injured, yeah, because he's been absolutely fouled, mate. I'm not surprised he's injured. Idioto. Go on then, Torum. Go on then. Slip through your brother. I don't even know what to say. I don't even know what... Hurt him! Don't pass the point of caring. I don't, I don't, just, I'm, I'm lost for words. Lost for words how we've been this poor today. Lerma, ping that over there. What a ping, actually. Can we get a goal? Milo? No. Just look at the, look at the cross that's getting put in, man. There's one person running near post and he just flies it to the edge of the box when no one is. Listen, after that loss, we've ruined our goals against, um, we've been absolutely fraudulent, I'm not going to lie. And we're down to fourth, which is quite sad. We're only three points off the top, though. Newcastle haven't lost yet, so they're having an amazing season. United, what? Well, that was their first win of the season. First win of the season, and they did it against us, of course. Uh, hopefully, you've all enjoyed today's video. If you have, make sure you leave a like, comment, and subscribe. Make sure you turn those notification bells on so you never miss a video. And I'll see you all in a week. Peace!